I've been wondering about the power Doppler abilities on the butterfly. Here's a case that I ran into just recently. I'm comparing it with uh, another ultrasound machine that I have here. You're going to have to pause this video and circle back to do some of the comparisons just because there is a lot of information coming at you. The key points here are that in general, the butterfly has a lower megahertz transducer frequency than some of the other high frequency transducers. And therefore the low flow capabilities of these transducers are not really optimal for some really subtle synovitis that you can see. Here's an example of some really low flow synovitis that I saw, but I could not pick up with the butterfly. Here's the volar wrist and the difference here is that some flow in the flexor carpi radialis tendon is just not seen with the butterfly, whereas it is seen here. And particularly in this image here, and we'll compare it to the butterfly in a second or two. Here we can see that you really just can't see that flow on the superficial or uh, sorry, superior aspect of the FCR tendon. There's just one little blip that occurs about right here over that superior aspect of the tendon, but it comes and goes and I really couldn't get it to work like I wanted to. So in summary, I think that for the most part, you're getting good results out of this transducer from a Doppler perspective. Certainly for subtle cases of synovitis where you're looking for hyperemia, and if you're using this in a day-to-day -day rheumatologic or MSK practice, I think it's reasonable, but it's certainly not ideal.